Hi everyone, it's Helen and James here. Now, we're having a go today at videoing our speech and language and music group for you all to watch at home. So I'm here with Heidi, my daughter, who's helping me today. And James and I are gonna pass backwards and forwards between us. And hopefully at the end of it, you'll have a video of everything together. So mums and dads, the idea of this group is that it's something you can do with your children at home if you've got the time and the um, space. All of the children who are in Rainbow this year or who were, who were in Rainbow last year know the group and some of the children in Treetops know it as well. So our hope is that they're going to um, hear me and James and see us on the video and they'll know what to do. And I think if you can join in um, and do what I do with Heidi, hopefully that will be a nice activity that you can do together with the children at home. So let me tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to do something called the Hello song. Then we'll sing Yellow Submarine. And this is the Beatles song, the Yellow Submarine that you'll hopefully all know. Then I'm going to tell a story. We'll do an activity called One, Two, Three, Go. We're going to sing another song, more of the Beatles. And then at the end, we'll do a goodbye song. Now in lots of the songs and lots of the stories, James and I are going to leave gaps. And the reason that we're leaving gaps is because this is an opportunity for the children to use their voices or do an action or do something to fill the gap. So hopefully some of your children will start to join in too. One of the things you'll notice is every time I leave a gap, I hold my hands up like this. And this is a nice visual, visual cue for the children that they can, they can do something in that space. We don't need them to talk and it doesn't matter if they don't join in. We're just giving them the opportunity and leaving a pause. So please don't worry if your children do nothing in that gap. The more often you do it, hopefully the more they'll join in. All right, so we're gonna start now with the hello song and I'm going to hand over to James. One of the things you'll notice in a lot of the singing and in the stories is there's a lot of rhythmic tapping and you can do this on your own bodies or you can do it with your children on their knees, on their shoulders, on their hands, whatever they like. But if they don't like it, it's fine just to do it on your own body. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hello song and hand over to James. Whenever you're ready, James. Okay, thank you, Helen. So, we're gonna sing it all the way through, ready? Okay, so now we're going to do Yellow Submarine. So we're going to sing all the way through and I'm going to say leave a gap. And that's when, like what Helen said, we're going to raise our hands and go and leave a gap for an intervention from the child. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, that's up. 
all the way through. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine, a yellow submarine. Leave a gap again. We A yellow sub. A yellow sub. All the way through to the end. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Well done everyone. I'm going to hand back over to Helen now. All right. Well done everyone. So, Hello Song has finished and Yellow Submarine has finished and that means it's time for our story. Time for our story. Now for this story I've just found some things around the house that we can use for the story and as you'll hear the story is quite repetitive. So this story is something you can use with your children whenever they like to join in and you can use whatever you can find around the house for props. Um, so have a go if you want to at home. If you want to send videos of doing it with your child, you can do that too. Just let me know. All right, so our story starts like this. Mr. Gumpy lived in a house. His house was by the river. The river water was very cold. It really made you shiver. One day, Mr. Gumpy went for a row in his boat. So he picked up his oars and on he went, and on he went, and on he went, and on he went. While he was rowing along, he saw something by the river. Oh, I wonder what he saw. <gasps> he saw. He saw a little bunny. He saw a little bunny. Still had its tag on. He saw a little bunny. The little bunny was hopping along the riverbank. He was hopping along the riverbank. Can I come in your boat? said the bunny. Hmm, thought Mr. Gumpy. Okay, but you have to help with the rowing. So the bunny hopped into the boat and they all picked up their oars and on they went and on they went and on they went and on they went. While they were rowing along, they saw something else on the riverbank. They saw a bright windmill. The windmill was spinning faster and faster and faster as the wind blew. Round and round and round. But the wind grew slower and softer and the windmill stopped. <coughs> Mr. Gumpy decided to row on so they picked up their oars and on they went and on they went and on they went and on they went. While they were rowing along they heard something by the river. They heard a sound. It was a bird singing in the trees. He was a very noisy bird. Can I come on your boat? said the bird. Hmm, 
thought Mr Gumby, okay, but please can you sing a bit quieter? So the bird fluttered onto the boat and they picked up their oars and on they went and on they went and on they went and on they went until they saw something else floating through the sky towards them. There was a big waterfall and it was making bubbles. Almost. The bubbles floated through the sky towards them. They floated over the boat and pop, they popped into the river. After a while, the bubbles finished, but Mr. Gumpy decided to row on. So he picked up his oars and on they went, and on they went, and on they went, and on they went, all the way home. Mr. Gumpy lived in a house. His house was by a river. The river water was very cold. It really made you shiver. All right. So, story has finished. And that means it's time for one, two, three, go. And that is a very easy game and it just goes like this. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go. And then you start to leave a gap. One, two, three, go! 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 And then we do it all the way through a couple of times to finish. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! And then we stop. One, two, three, stop. Okay. One, two, three, go has finished. And that means it's time for another song. So I'm going to hand it back to James. And you'll see me still tapping when muting me. Because if James and I try to sing together, it sounds really strange because the sound doesn't quite match. But if you watch, you'll see that Heidi and I are still tapping along to the music. All right, back to James. Thanks, Helen. So the same rules apply as for Yellow Submarine. So we're going to sing Let It Be. So I'll sing it twice through and each chorus. But after that, we're going to leave a gap. And I'll let you know when to, OK? Ready, everyone? Well done everybody. Hand you back to Helen now. Okay, so our song has finished. And that means it's time for goodbye song. Now, I don't have any instruments in my house like James, and usually we have a drum for goodbye song. But although I don't have any instruments, I have a few boxes. So I'm going to use this box as my drum. If you have a drum in your house, please use a drum, but if not, a box or a pan or an upside down um, plastic bowl, like a cooking bowl, those things all work quite well too. So we're gonna sing our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, 
Goodbye song is finished. And that means that our group plan, our speech and language music group, has finished. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from James. We hope you have a lovely time doing this group at home and we'll see you all later. Bye everyone. Bye.